Hello YouTube. Long time no video, but I have an update regarding the Panasonic WV3800 Viticon color camera from 1979. It has now been retroized, I guess you could say, and I have made it portable and I can do videos with it from and post them to YouTube. Now in the previous videos you saw me messing around with it trying to get it working properly because it had some things wrong with it. I tweaked the living daylights out of the uh, potentiometers inside to get the tube working good and all that stuff and I had to figure out a way to get video and audio out of it and into something to record. And that's what I've done and let's go over that what I've done. So in order to make this work I had to purchase some stuff off of Amazon. We have a little shotgun mic here and there just happens to be a hot shoe, or I should say a, a shoe, not a hot shoe, but a shoe on the viewfinder for a light. And so there was a convenient place for this to mount on here. And to this I have a little audio recorder. The audio recorder takes the input from this mic, and then the amplified output for headphones heads over here to this device, which is a clear click uh, AV converter. That's meant for VHS tapes. And this converter here takes the video from the camera and makes it into an MP4 file. I had to do some hackery with the power power cords. I want not to get it to work, but I've got it set up now so that it can run off of 12 volts DC. And then this is what the other side looks like. This is what I've done for cable management. I've just taken some Velcro and some ties and tied everything together. And so you don't see it in frame right now, but I have uh, a lawn and garden tractor battery, and some jumper cables to a up, oh, or I should say a, a car, a car outlet thing. And all I got to do to get this to power up is to just put it on the positive. That this will pop up. I'll turn on the audio recorder. It's going to ask me what I did for a microphone. But now the microphone has turned on and you can see my voice going on the spectrogram display because it's just an audio mode. But when I turn the camera on I will get a picture, and once the tube warms up, then you see the picture, and now we got the color. I can put it on color bars. It causes a glitch in the picture when it does that. Or I could put it back on camera mode. And so that is on, and then if I can, if I pan over here, I should say I'm going to have to move it over here. Here's my audio recorder picking up my voice. And all I got to do start this recording and just hit the button and I'm now getting an audio and video file recorded to mp4 and this thing does what I would consider a proper conversion in that you get 60 individual frames of video per second from the two it makes 60 frames of video from the two interlaced fields that are NTSC And I think that I got something. You saw it kind of glitching there. I think I've got some loose connections somewhere that I gotta hunt down. But other than that, this is a. Uh, it seems like it's it's working pretty good. And I can stop it, and I can stop my camera. 
And so this is the last piece of the puzzle. This is what's going to be powering this camera. It's going to be this lawnmower battery. And the last thing I have to do is I have to construct a battery box for this thing and some other accessories because this is also going to be running a power inverter so that if I ever have a power outage in the house I can use the this thing, that the battery, for backup power. I do have to get a new tripod for this thing too. Because there's no way that this tripod's ever gonna last forever and I don't want to drop this camera. But this is honestly the strongest tripod that I have. There's the back. I got all these controls centered out now. And again the front side. The viewfinder works. The audio recorder, all that stuff works. There may be some tweaks coming down the line, but... I'm intending to use this for SirenCon this year. And I'm going to be doing my video entirely with this camera. But that's it for the time being, so as always, I ask you to please like this video, please comment, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.